Hello, Mole PT League. How's it going? Happy Friday. David Bailiff here, owner and creator of the Mole PT League. Uh, so if you saw my question, it was like, hey, my wellness client has some pain today. What do I do? Don't they need a script? How Can I see them? And I know we've talked about this in the past. So I just, I thought of this example that I wanted to share with everyone. It's just an example I want to share. I don't want to make this a long thing. In fact, I don't have time to make it a long thing because... I need to go in and see my next client, all right? But I have time to come on right quick. Hello, Peter, how are we doing? Had time to come on right quick and just to share an idea, or not an idea, an example of how you can take care of that wellness client's pain on a day that they're having pain and you don't need to stress about going and getting a script, all right? Because first of all, if you tell the person, well, before we take care of your pain, you need to go get a script. Okay, that's gonna be like a week or two weeks later. By then, they may not have the pain, all right? Hello, Sarah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peter, good to see you, brother. Um, so think about this. I just, I just, I, I, you know what? Some of you are going to go, well, but, 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 okay. But here is an example to help you see how you could take care of a wellness client's pain one day and not worry about it, okay? And I know a lot of you say, but I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm, I don't have direct access. I can't do that. Let me ask you this question, and, and this, this this might ruffle some feathers, and this and it's okay, but it's a legit example, okay? How many of you have been in the clinic one day, and either yourself or a colleague has come in and said, "Oh man, my back is getting me today, or my shoulders getting me today, or I slept wrong. I got a I got a crick in my neck." Hey, who can work on me during lunch? How often has that happened? Oh, I got a crick in my neck back who can work on me during lunch and everyone obliges somebody works on you or you work on that person hello Brianna how you doing okay you work on that person during lunch because they had a crick in their neck back pain whatever it might be but they needed some work done during that day during lunch who can work on me during lunch now let me ask you this in that situation did you do physical therapy did you administer physical therapy or did you receive physical therapy for that neck pain, back pain, whatever it is? Oh, oh, you did? You got some physical therapy? Did you go get a script so that they could do that to you? Oh, oh, you didn't? You just did it during lunch? Now, a lot of you could say, hello, DLC. A lot of you say, well, but this is a different situation. No, it's not a different situation. If the, if the law is the law, if you are a patient at that moment. doesn't matter that you work there. At that moment, you are no different than your wellness client who one day has an ache and a pain. Just like what you do in the clinic of like, hey man, I'm hurting today, who can work on me during lunch? And boom, you work on it, there you go, bada bing, bada boom, you feel better. You can do that with your wellness client if on a day they happen to have some pain. Now, if it's a situation where, whoa, like this is some effed up stuff here and you should be looked at, then maybe, you, you know, you should do the due diligence and refer them to the physician. But if they just have some pain that day, just like you ask a colleague to work on you during lunch in the clinic or a colleague asks you to work on them during lunch in the clinic. And so you oblige or they oblige and you do it. You didn't go run off and get a script. You did it. Hello, Christine. How are we doing? Dave Cattle, how are we doing, my man? Good to see you, brother. So I hope, I hope that that is a, a good example for many of you out there who struggle, because I know a lot of you struggle with my wellness client. They've got pain. What do I do? I, can I do this? That is no different than one day you're in the clinic, you've got some pain, and, you've, and you have a colleague work on you, or you work on a colleague. It is no, it is no different. I don't want to hear, yeah, but but we're but we're working. No, it's no different. If you're in pain one day and you need to receive some physical therapy treatment, well, shouldn't you go get a script? Or do you just have someone take care of it that day? That's how you can approach your wellness clients who happen to have pain that day. Dave Kettle, what do you think? Hopefully you think that makes sense. Hello, Jerry Durham. How, how we doing, brother? Good to see you, man. So, hello, Lisa. I was just sharing with everyone. Jerry, hopefully saw that where, you know, a lot of people uh, struggle with 
putting their hands on a wellness client who has pain that day. Like, can I do that? Or do they know, need to get a script? Do we need to now make it physical therapy? I kind of relate it to when you're in the clinic and you you go to work that day, you slept wrong, because nobody ever sleeps right. You slept wrong, you got a crick in your neck, you ask somebody to work on you during lunch. Is that person not providing physical therapy treatment to you? Did you go get a script for that person to do physical therapy on you? Probably didn't. Now, I know people could argue, well, but we're, we're, we're work colleagues. It's no different. If you're worried about getting a script, have physical therapy administered. Go get a script and have physical therapy administered. Wait till next week to have your neck worked on, right? Again, Peter, I know. D does direct access. Uh, again, Peter, what is the situation? Is the, is, is the person in a situation where now they cannot function at all? They can't function then maybe they should see a physician. If it's like, oh, you know, I got this, oh, got it, woke up, got this stiff neck. And if it's something that, you know what, you could provide some treatment with them that day and they're gonna feel tons better, you can provide the treatment to them and they're gonna feel tons better. I promise, all right? Hello, Brian, how are we doing? Ray, good to see you, brother, thank you so much. Mac is watching, thank you so much, my friend, for tuning in, Carl is watching. So anyway, I hope that just, yeah, yeah, Dave Kittle, just take care of it. Boom. Okay. Take care of it, people. It's no different than even if you're in a, if you're in Texas and you don't have direct access, although I think that's changing, but I'm just using Texas as an example. Okay. You show up for work one day, I guarantee you, you know, any number of the people, you know, uh, 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 Quinard Webb, uh, Erica Perrazzo, um, any of you who are in Texas, you show up that day, you got a crick in your neck, guess what? You're going to ask your colleagues to work on you. You don't have direct access, but they worked on you. They made you better. Usually in that kind of situation, a person, it's something where a person could just receive some treatment that day and feel a heap better. You don't need to go get a script for that one session, that one day, okay? You don't. Hopefully that example helps people to, to feel a little bit better about Okay, so if my wellness client has some pain one day, they're still functioning, but they're in some pain. Yeah, I can just, I can do some treatment on them that day. I hope that helps you to, to feel more comfortable with doing that. That's the whole purpose of me coming on and sharing this, okay? All right, good. What else? Do you have to prove to the law that they're wellness clients and not PT clients? That is, that, you know what? Do you have to prove to law again? Uh, Peter, I appreciate your question. Let me tell you this. The, the physical therapy police, they're not hiding behind a tree outside your client's house. Or, or you're there. You might think you're there in New York. They're not hiding down in, in, in the subways waiting to catch you going, ha, ha, ha. You know, they're not, if it's in a walk up, you know, they're not downstairs going, ha, you did physical therapy on that person. And are they a physical therapy person or are they a wellness person? Okay. You don't need to prove to anybody. If for some reason it ever got brought up, I am sure that you're going to be able to substantiate this person was a wellness client, okay? Again, especially if you're cash-based. If you're cash-based, you're working for your patient. You're not working for the insurance company. So I hope that helps, all right? Hello, Ray, brother. Yes, sir. Greg Johnson is watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Robbie is tuning in. Thank you so much. Hey. I would love to share more. Hopefully that helps you. If you just logged on, rewind, watch the whole thing so you can see what I talked about. It's a couple minutes before 12. I've got a lady. i got to get in there and see her because I know that her, day, uh, her uh, what does she watch? Young and the Restless? Young and the Restless is going off the air in 30 seconds, and then i got to be there to help her. All right, so hello, Sarah. Thank you so much. All right, good, Peter. I'm glad that helps you. I hope it helps you. If you still have concerns, Peter, Give me a tinkle on the blower. I'll be happy to talk to you about it. All right. So, hey, Dave Kittle, uh, Jerry Durham, Ray Bernardinelli, Greg Johnson, Sarah, all of you, thank you so much. Robbie, thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. It's Friday. Go out there. Keep killing it. Kick it up a notch, people.